His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the remarkable success of this year's Hajj season. His Majesty expressed his congratulations on this occasion, which came thanks to the efforts and patronage of the Saudi King and his government, represented by all ministries and concerned bodies that exerted their utmost efforts around the clock to ensure the success of the season and serve pilgrims and ensure their comfort, which contributed to performing the Hajj rituals with ease and comfort. His Majesty praised the continuous expansion work taking place in the Holy Mosque of Mecca and the distinguished services and modern and advanced smart technologies that have been developed in all ports, facilities and holy sites, which meet the needs of pilgrims, benefit them and facilitate the performance of their rituals, which are always the subject of praise and appreciation by all. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to accept the Hajj of pilgrims and bless them with mercy and forgiveness. He also wished the Saudi King good health and happiness, and for Saudi Arabia and its people, further security, progress and prosperity under the leadership of the Saudi King. His Majesty also wished the Arab and Islamic nation many happy returns. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. They exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty hailed the outstanding organization of the Hajj season this year, which contributed to performing rituals with ease and safety. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the Tuhali Mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the success of this year's Hajj season. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, affirmed that the success of this year's Hajj season is thanks to the efforts made by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its continuous and distinguished keenness to harness all the capabilities that guarantee a safe and comforting pilgrimage. He praised the Royal Directors from the Custodian of the Tuhali Mosques and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia in developing the Hajj system according to an insightful vision, comprehensive services, integrated facilities and outstanding qualitative plans and programs. The Shura Council praised the distinguished efforts made by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to ensure the success of the Hajj season and its keenness to harness all capabilities, cadres and expertise in order to serve pilgrims. The Council highly appreciated the support and care of the custodian of the Tuhali Mosques and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. The Council appreciated the high level of organization and the various services that were provided to pilgrims that enabled the pilgrims to perform the Hajj rituals with ease. The issuance of the royal pardon for the release of 545 inmates sentenced in various cases affirms the high approach of His Majesty the King, which aims to support family stability and provide the opportunity for those included in the pardon to integrate into society. Those included in the special royal pardon and their families praised his, this humanitarian gesture that coincided with the blessed Eid al-Adha. More in this report. Overwhelming joy expressed by the families of those included in the royal pardon regarding the release of 545 inmates sentenced in various cases. This pardon reflects the high approach of His Majesty the King that calls for peaceful coexistence and tolerance and reflects the values that aim to support the family stability and provide the opportunity for those included in the pardon to integrate into society and participate in the comprehensive development process. The royal pardon coincided with the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne, as well as the occasion of the Blessed Eid al-Adha, which reflected joy and pleasure in the hearts of the families. This generous parental care from His Majesty the King contributes to strengthening family cohesion, which is part of many humanitarian gestures, most notably the royal pardon for the release of 1,584 convicts in riot and criminal cases, which was issued last April. The government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is making continuous efforts to implement the directives of His Majesty the King to strengthen and consolidate the state of law, institutions and human rights according to a comprehensive and integrated system. These are success stories written by the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
that highlight its civilizational achievements in the field of human rights in light of a royal approach that supports the comprehensive development process in the Kingdom of Bahrain. To speak more about the royal pardon, we were joined earlier over the phone by the managing director of the Diplomacy Plus Consultancy, Stephen Jones, who elaborated further on the matter. Well, Eid is traditionally a time when rulers grant pardons to those convicted of crimes. The king's action is very much, I think, a reflection of these values. He's calling those pardoned to recommit themselves to society and its unity. He's giving them a new chance to demonstrate obedience to the rules and the customs that govern Bahraini society and which have made it such a potent force for progress. And similarly, King Hamad is recognising them as citizens and participants in Bahraini society, recognising that these individuals have promise, have something to contribute, that they are individuals with lives, with hopes, with aspirations, despite their previous mistakes in life. I think it's a reflection of the sense of hope that I've witnessed for myself in my visits to Bahrain, a reflection of the fact that we all should have a second chance in life. Once again, Bahrain has shown itself to be a force for progress, and Bahrain is to be commended for developing a comprehensive programme of correctional activity that ensures each individual is treated according to their personal situation and their willingness to change. The King's pardons on the occasion of Eid demonstrates that he is openly demonstrating leadership, taking decisions in the long-term interests of Bahraini society. And all of this, what we've seen with the Eid pardons, is entirely consistent with the National Human Rights Plan, which is a sign for all the world to see that the values of tolerance, of cohesion and unity are alive and well in Bahrain under King Hamad, and long may they remain so. We were also joined earlier over the phone by the political analyst David Powell, who spoke further about the royal pardon. Yes, well, this, this royal pardon is, is very interesting. Um, 545 inmates are to be released under this pardon to mark uh, Eid al-Adha. And as you said, it's, it's not a one-off gesture. This is part of a pattern um, that we've seen in Bahrain. Um, only last April... Um, uh, over 1,500 uh, detainees of various kinds were released from, from jail under a pardon for both Eid al-Fitr and for the 25th anniversary of the accession of the king. Yes, well, I, I think the alternative sentence law that uh, came into effect uh, about six years ago was a landmark um, a landmark in this, this initiative to, um, uh, to improve... Uh, the situation for for detainees and to reintegrate them better into society, and we've seen over the last six years of of, of this um, alternative sentence policy, whereby um, uh, prisoners who've served half their sentences can be released. Uh, uh, to serve in community programs, we've seen a, 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 a quite an astounding um, success rate. The Bahrain Hajj Mission continues to play its role in organizing the work of campaigns, supervising the safety of pilgrims, and ensuring the best services are provided to them. The Kingdom's pilgrims praise the mission's tireless efforts in cooperation with the relevant authorities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. More on this report. The Bahrain Hajj Mission affirmed the successful and smooth transfer of Bahraini pilgrims from Musdalifa to Mina on the first day of Eid al-Adha. The pilgrims completed the ritual of throwing stones at Jamarat al-Aqaba, followed by tawaf around the Kaaba and Sa'i between Safa and Marwa. They will return to their camps in Mina for the remaining days of Tashriq. The Bahrain Hajj Mission extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the people of Bahrain on the occasion of Eid al-Adha. It also commended the remarkable efforts of Saudi Arabia in facilitating the smooth movement and successful management of pilgrims and hailed the exceptional organizational capabilities that ensure pilgrims perform their rituals safely and comfortably. The mission teams express appreciation to the efforts of the security committee and the scouts team for their continuous efforts in executing the movement plans and the medical committee for providing healthcare services to Bahraini pilgrims, residents, campaign administrators and mission members. 
The chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Muhammad Al Hajri, affirmed that the Charitable Works Department of the Sunni Waqf is implementing the Adahi project for Eid Al Adha. The Adahi were distributed to needy families in various governorates of the kingdom in cooperation with the charitable association and funds. He affirmed that the project is one of the most important charitable projects and vital humanitarian initiatives that the administration launches annually. He added that the number of families benefiting from the project reached 500 families. He praised the Eid clothing project, which is one of the pioneering projects that helps needy families and bringing joy to them and their children, benefiting 1,000 children. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed remarkable activity in the commercial and tourism fields during Eid al-Adha holiday due to the diversity contained in the Kingdom and its unique characteristics in its various projects and programs. The activities and events announced by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority during the Eid holiday, which comes as part of the celebration of Manama being selected as the capital of Gulf tourism for 2024, contributes to attracting large numbers of citizens, residents and visitors to the Kingdom as it offers various entertainment packages in order to have a wonderful wonderful atmosphere during the Eid period.